What's up, guys? So I've been waiting to break this fight down. This one's for all the marbles, the light heavyweight gold, Sweet Dreams Jamal Hill versus Alex Poetan Pereira. This fight, this fight is going to be a treat. I mean, it's going to be a striking treat. Um, and it's, I'm just excited to break it down. So let's just jump into it with Jamal Hill. Um, so he's 32 years old. He's prime time. He's, you know, 6'4", tall guy. He's got a good reach, 79 inch. He's 12 and one in the UFC. Um, his one loss, I believe, was to Paul Craig. And, you know, he's he's just been a guy that's just been so underestimated. Um, and people just counted him out along the way. And I'm included in that because I've I've counted him out so many times. Um, I don't know if it was just his personality or you know, how he comes off or whatever it is, uh, people, you know, sometimes he might not rub you the right way when he's speaking, but, or just something you might not like about him, but you know, people counted him out a lot and man, he did, he deliver every single time. So, I mean, he's fought already some good names, some big names. Like he, obviously he won the title against Glover before he had the injury. Um, he's fought Tiago Santos. He's fought Johnny Walker, which was, I mean, fucking shut the lights off on Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker's face just shifted as he landed. So insane fight with him, um, with well, insane knockout for him um, with, against Johnny Walker. Um, fought Jimmy Crew, and um, he's, that was one loss that he had was with Paul Craig, where he basically destroyed, got his arm destroyed. Um, but yeah, he, he's been on the run aside from that. I mean, he's been, you know, on the up and up and He's clearly a dangerous, dangerous striker. I doesn't have much. I don't think his, there's much wrestling that I've seen of him. Um, I remember that Tiago Santos fight. I feel like I don't see, remember seeing a lot of wrestling in that fight either. I think that's the only fight I could remember him. Um, and then obviously against Paul Gra Craig, which Paul Craig is, you know, he's always going for the ground. Um, so, yeah. But I don't remember his ground game as much, but his striking is phenomenal. Um, he's, you know, second to none. And he's just, he, he is powerful. That's the scary thing about the guy. The guy, the guy might look like, you know, what this crazy thing is a lot of people say that, you know, he just because he looks like he got the dad bod going and stuff like that. But the guy is scary powerful, man. He has some scary power in those hands because the, the amount of punishment he gives to some of these guys i mean and the way he puts these guys away is crazy it's crazy um you know like once again johnny walker jimmy crew um glover teixeira man like glover teixeira's fight probably should have been stopped a long time ago let me be honest with you guys that fight even though that was a really good fight but glover teixeira took a beating like insanely it was it was an insane beating i mean it is what it is though right um he's you know up against a scary striker that possesses insane amount of power as well and that man is alex Pereira. so Pereira is 36 he's gonna be 37 this year so he's you know like i always say he's probably at the you know towards the end when we say MMA, because, you know, with the A after 35, that age, usually it's on the decline for the most part. Um, he's also 6'4". He's got an 80-inch reach, multiple-time kickboxing champion, multiple division UFC champion. Um, this guy has an insane resume already. Um, he's suffered two losses in his career, in his MMA career. Uh, one that we saw against Izzy, which was, you know, something. Um he's obviously the current champion um he's beat yuri which that probably could have i mean i don't want to like bring that all back up again but i feel like that fight could have went on a little bit longer because yuri i mean it was a championship fight i feel like it shouldn't have ended that fast or they shouldn't have just completely like you know just stopped it that quick they should have gave him a little bit more you know let him go out and shield a little bit more um but it is what it is that fight's done I'm not going to bring all that back up too much so that's that. Um, he always he obviously fought Jan Bohovic, which was a decision split. Um, I think that was that was a pretty good fight. You know, showed a lot 
showed some hole in his get holes in his game as well um and then i think a lot of people also counted him out against yuri he took yuri's leg out early and the thing was people did not expect yuri to go out the way he did people were like you know yuri a lot of people thought that yuri was just gonna be you know kind of walk in there and do some crazy you know weird things that he always does and probably take take um um you know, alex out the thing is because alex lost to izzy right and he got ko'd like brutally which was you know tough to watch and it was I mean, great for izzy but it was tough to watch for all the alex fans um and not and he, you know he's he's usually the one on the giving end not on the receiving end but seeing that him him losing the way he lost to izzy everybody's questioning his chin and usually you do question somebody's chin because you know if somebody gets knocked out the way he did they don't come back the same and now that he's up in the division he's up at 205 it's it's a different punching power right like the people punching in that division are are on another level i i do remember the one thing i would say though, i do remember that jan behovich at some point i forgot it was an interview i forgot where it was or i heard this but uh, Jan Bohovic did say that Izzy wasn't like powerful, but he was so precise. So it, his punches, his strikes hurt like when they landed because they were so precise, they were accurate. So, you know, that makes me think, you know, Izzy was, Izzy's just, you know, Izzy could do that to anybody, even a light heavyweight if he, you know, that's how I feel at least. Um, but Jamal Hill is... You know, he's been putting people away. And as I mentioned, he's put some of the best guys away. And he's powerful. You know, and he's striker himself. The thing about Pereira now is that he's got the kicking game, which we, everybody kind of like, you know, jabs at Jamal Hill about his legs. And But reality is, honestly, nobody wants to take a kick from Alex Pereira. Nobody. Let's be honest. Like, I don't care which fighter it is. You could be the best kicker in the world. You could be the best, you know, to have the strongest. Like, nobody want to take a damn kick from Alex Pereira. All right? So stop the bullshit. Um, people bashing Jamal for no reason for that. Um, but Jamal Hill is also a good kicker himself. The thing is, he he was talking about how he, he's going to, you know, take the route of striking with, with Alex. Um, I don't know how smart that is, but Alex is his whole world has been built on his striking like literally um his recent videos he's been doing a lot of you know grappling which is kind of cool um and i'm wondering if he's going to do any grappling in this match it's going to be interesting to see um but you know he's been through a couple guys he's obviously jumped up divisions and he's been doing amazing he's been up in the up and up as well um he's he's just a He's in a different type of species. Like so I feel like about Alex. Um, he's a stone cold killer. Got the stone face, right? So got no expressions. This guy's just scary. Simple. Catch this guy looking at you um, on the street. You're going the other way. Simple. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's interesting to see this fight go between them now what's my thoughts and how this fight plays out and you know where does it go from here well let's start with jamal hill so jamal hill is once again amazing striker you know one of the best um he's got good kicks as well now this is likely to be a striking match because I don't see Jamal Hill wrestling from his side, at least. Um, but you know, you know, we'll we'll see about that. I guess we'll uh, you know we'll wait and see how that plays out. But I mean, what I see from him is that he's gonna have to not get in his range because if he gets Jamal Hill gets in the range of Alex Pereira, I mean, it could be lights out. I'm not saying that, you know, Jamal Hill doesn't have a chin. But at the same time, this guy has a nuclear option. Like, this guy has nuclear hands. So does Jamal Hill, though. You know, as I mentioned, 
before that. We have seen Alex Pereira's chin tested and he's been dropped. He's been knocked out. Um, you know, now he's going up against somebody like Jamal Hill. And I don't know if Jamal, Jamal Hill has insane hands, but I don't know if he even needs a nuclear option. I think Jamal Hill lands just a good shot. I think he could put away Alex. Um, now, the thing is, I also see Alex trying to go in for a wrestling game. The reason being is because, you know, like I said, Jamal Hill's not really the wrestler type. But I also feel like Alex has been showing it in his videos and so on, and training jiu-jitsu, training his wrestling. Um, so I feel like he actually might go ahead and try to wrestle Jamal Hill, which would be interesting to see. I don't think he goes for it right off the bat. I think it takes a little bit more, you know, time i want to say like the out of the maybe out of the first round second round maybe you know it, i feel like he's gonna test the water see you know what he's dealing with as far as power um but he also has the you know experience from glover Teixeira, who's been in there with jamal hill so he knows the power already and for um alex it's uh it gives him that one up you know he might be able to kind of gauge or at least understand what's coming his way Jamal Hill, on the other hand, you know, doesn't know. He's, I, you know, I heard that he was talking to Izzy. He's been in conversation with Izzy and, um, that's good and all, but you know, this is a, this is also a bigger size Alex Pereira, you know, a 185 Alex Pereira is very depleted and still is super, super strong and super, you know, powerful and has a nuclear option to take pretty much anybody out. A 205 Alex Pereira, which is not as depleted, is even more scarier and more dangerous. Now, I still, even with all of that, I still feel like um, Alex Pereira goes for a wrestling game with him. I think he tries to, like, bring him down, see if he can do some BJJ or, you know, some wrestling or some grappling, whatever it might be. I think he tries to test the ground with him. But probably not right out the gate in the first round. I think it's just going to see how he plays it out within the first round. See where, you know, his power is. Um, and I also got to consider, and when I say this, I also have to consider Jamal Hill's injury that he had, right? So, I mean, I mean, it's been time. He's recovered, right? He's recovered. This last fight was, um, let me go back and check real quick. What when was his last fight? His last fight was... Back in 2023, so it's been, wow, it's been, it's been about a year, over a year. So, you know, 14 months, maybe 13, 14 months by the time he fight gets back in that ring, um, you know, ring rust could be a factor. Maybe, maybe not. Um, you know, injury, he's, you know, this is not sparring now. This is straight, you know, this is where it's all for the, for everything. So he has to really, you know, go for it. So it might be different. I mean, we don't know. Seems like he's in good spirits and he's in good shape. And I held a Believe You Me podcast recently. Um, and he looks like he's in really, really good shape. And he, he, he looks like he's ready to, to kill. But it still makes me think like, you know, all of these things that I consider, all of these things considering, it's like, still, is it going to be just enough to take out Pereira? Now, if I really had to pick and, you know, decide who I think would, would win. Actually, wait, before I say that, another thing that's, I mentioned earlier, everybody talks about the leg kicks. I think Alex goes for the leg, leg kicks, but at the same time, I think Jamal Hill expects all of that already. So I don't, I don't know if he just allows it as easy. And a lot of people will say, or at least Izzy has said this before. His, his kicks are like not telegraphed, so you can't like really see them coming. It's the way he throws the kick. It's just, you know, it's phenomenal. But the thing is, I think he's going to have this in his mind already. Now, going back to my prediction. Now, how do I feel like it's going to go? I really, I mean, it's hard to, I, I want to say it's hard to pick because I've always, a lot of the times I've, you know, kind of counted out Jamal Hill. And I've always been like, you know what? 
I don't think Jamal's going to win this one. And he's kind of went back and just done it, right? And I've always counted Alex in. And, you know, he's done it. Except, you know, his time with one time with Izzy, uh, which was brutal. Now, all things considered, all things considered, I feel like Jamal Hill might win. I know, I know, I know the world's not going to agree. A lot of people don't even like the guy. Uh, Alex has probably become a really interesting personality that everybody's come to like. Uh, I, I I don't mind Jamal Hill. I actually like Jamal Hill. I don't think he's a bad guy. Um, but I think he takes it, man. His He has this spewing confident about him that is just... Is there, and I think that I think that he can put away Alex Pereira. I think he's gonna come. He's gonna, he's gonna come be more hungry in that fight because he wants to get that title back. You know, he didn't really get to hold on to it and defend it, and so I feel like he's gonna be more hungry. Alex Pereira's, you know, saying something about fighting at three or one already. I mean, like you know, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like Hill is going to take it this time. I feel like Hill puts him away. So my official prediction, I think Hill puts him away. It could be the first round. It could be the first round. Now, the thing is, we've seen Hill in the five round fight and the guy is dangerous. It's the same. He's just as dangerous as he is in round one and in round five. He's just as dangerous. He doesn't like he doesn't change. He did that with Glover Teixeira, and he showed heart, he took a beating himself, and he showed heart. So, I don't know. Does Alex do the same? I don't feel it, man. It's just a feeling more to that right now. I think I think Jamal Hill does it. That's official. That's my pick. I think Jamal takes it. He's probably going to put him away probably the first towards the end, maybe not the second. That's how I feel. And if it, in, if it doesn't, if he doesn't get knock him out in the first or second, what would be cool to see at least is if Alex gets a submission. Tell me you I know you guys all agree with that. If Alex gets a submission, that would be some shit. I think we'll all be like, wow. Like we did not see that coming. Um, but yeah, that's that's where I'm at with this. Um, let me know what you guys think. Who do you guys have for your picks? Is it Alex? Is it Jamal? Who takes it? What round? You know, how does it go down? Leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like this video. Also, if you're enjoying the content, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can see all the new videos I upload.